Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and this is part one of our ultimate Stingray Strange Pickup Mod Guide 2022 edition. Let's get started. This is a Ray 4 SUB, a base you are all probably all too familiar with, and it has been featured on the channel as a mod platform many a time, and we are doing it once more. In December 2020, we released the Ultimate Stingray Mod Guide, where we featured six different sets of electronics with the Ray 4 SUB. We actually had six Ray 4 SUBs, and we had an EMG one, a Bartolini one, a Nordstrand one, and uh, it was a pretty cool series, very popular, and I was so glad to see uh, such a positive response to that series. That pretty much started the whole mod thing that we do here today. And we are going to be kicking it up a notch with the Ultimate Stingray Strange Pickup Mod Guide 2022 edition. <laughs> First and foremost, big thank you to Trickfish Amplification for providing the Trickfish IPA onboard preamp that we are going to be using in our Ray 4 SUB as a mod platform. We are also going to be pairing the pickups that we are going to be demoing with the DiMarzio Push-Pull 500k pot, allowing us to have series and parallel modes, giving us access to all the tones. And you may be wondering, how many pickups are we going to be testing? Five pickups, plus maybe a bonus one. Let's go through the contenders. First, we have the Nordstrand Blade Man. A very cool pickup. I've been wanting to try one of these for a long time. I believe these are a ceramic construction with these really cool blade-shaped pole pieces here. Very neat. Next up, we have the Delano Hybrid 4. This is a hybrid style pickup with a jazz side and a music man side, giving you the best of both worlds if you were to utilize single coil mode and the bridge coil. However, we are doing series in parallel today, so... Oh well. <laughs> Next up is Nordstrand number two, and this is the Nordstrand Big Man. Another very cool pickup from Nordstrand, and I'm very excited to see how this sounds. And then we're gonna test out the Turner Multicoil 4. This is from a small pickup manufacturer, Chris Turner, from the US, and he makes these really cool multi-coil pickups. I'm very excited to test this one out. Big thank you to Chris for providing this pickup for this video. I'll have a link to this pickup through his reverb store down in the description below. And last but not least, we have the MEC M60104. That's right, a classy name if I've ever heard one. This is a ceramic Music Man style pickup with a cool metal housing. I'm very excited to see how this sounds as I really haven't played any MEC pickups in recent years and I'm looking forward to it. So those are our five pickups that we're going to be testing out. We're going to have five individual videos pairing these pickups to the Trickfish IPA preamp along with the DiMarzio push-pull pickup and going through all the tones that that pickup can offer in this particular type of bass. So be sure to check out those videos, but today we are going to be introducing our platform and installing our Trickfish IPA preamp into the Ray4 SUB. We'll go over the whole install process, you'll see me do it, and from there we'll do some basic testing with the stock pickup. I know it's a spicy pickup, I'm not really a fan of the stock pickup, but we're gonna try it, especially if it's a four conductor pickup where we could wire it in parallel. I've had requests for me to wire the stock pickup in parallel, and why not? We're gonna try and do it, so. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the mods. If you wanna hear me play this bass, check out my Ray 4 review or any of the other Ray 4 mods down in the description below. But we're gonna get right to the modding. Let's do it. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. To the workbench. Here we are at the workbench, and we are going to be installing the Trickfish IPA into our Ray 4 SUB to be used as a mod platform for our Stingray pickup series. And we'll be installing that in conjunction with our DiMarzio 500k push-pull pot for series parallel functionality on the pickup. I'm hoping that this pickup is a four conductor one, so we can run this in parallel and hear what it sounds like with the stock pickup. 
But anyways, let's get started. We're going to be keeping the stock pickup. We're not going to have to touch this or the strings. We're just going to be messing with the control plate. So I'll move this over a little bit. First things first, let's go ahead and remove the knobs and then remove the control plate. The stock knobs pull right off, very easy. Now let's just uh, loosen up the pots and unscrew the control plate. Okay, with the screws removed, let's go ahead and pop open the control plate. I'm hoping there's enough room for us to install this preamp, but let's remove the jack, let's remove the pots, and get everything disconnected. So now we have our control plate removed, let's start disconnecting everything. Uh -huh, it appears our pickup is a four conductor pickup. I am going to disconnect it, a little snip, and I'm excited to wire this up with a series parallel configuration. Okay, with our stock preamp out of the way, let us just make sure everything fits by taking out our Trickfish preamp. Again, big thank you to Trickfish for providing this IPA preamp for this video and the series. I appreciate it. It looks like the preamp should be able to fit on one of the sidewalls without any modification. That's good. Here's the preamp unit. It's actually very modular. As you can see, there's all sorts of different plugs to allow you to connect uh, different controls and set different uh, things. I don't know. <laughs> but this is a very cool preamp. I'm very excited to try it out. Here's a little card that comes with the preamp. You can see what stuff does. So holding it this way, we have our um, three-band preamp plus an active-passive switch. And then we have our main outputs and our mid-range control, as well as a few jumper options for the bottom. So looks like there's some flexibility here. Looks like we have a little bag of jumpers. And then I requested a concentric pot. It also comes with a jack and battery harness and everything that you need. Let's go ahead and put the base to the side now so we can assemble our control plate. So here's our control plate, let's start putting it together. We're gonna have our jack, our base and treble control, and then our mid control, and our volume. Next, let's put this aside and we're gonna wire up our DiMarzio 500K push-pull control as a volume control with series parallel functionality. One little trick I like to use with these series parallel push-pulls for the direction of series, if you want series to be out, you want the connected lugs to be the top ones here. If you want series to be when it's in, then you want the connected ones on the bottom. So we want series to be out and we want the default to be parallel. So we are gonna connect the top two lugs here with some solder. Okay, with our push-pull pot set up, we can go ahead and start connecting things to our preamp and our control plate. Let's go ahead and grab that. And before we finish up, let's set up our hot lead as well as our ground that will be going into the preamp module. Next, let's grab our control plate and we can install the volume control. Okay, now with the controls loosely installed, we have our mid control, our bass and treble, and our volume, as well as our jack. 
let's try and connect up our preamp module. Okay, now with things just roughly in place, we can take our base back out and see if we can get things connected. Let's go ahead and move everything out of the way. Now with the preamp installed, and I think it should fit, Let's go ahead and wire up our pickup. Okay, it looks like we have everything fit and lined up. Mostly, let's go ahead and at least screw down one of these screws or a couple of them and then just test our output and make sure that we are good to go. And then we can go ahead and check out everything out in more detail. Okay, I've tested out the preamp, everything works. One quick note you have to use the active passive switch or a jumper on the little PCB, otherwise, the preamp won't function. So keep that in mind. I was like, did I break it? I did not break it, but I did not have the active passive switch installed. So that is a must, or using one of the included itty bitty jumpers. Now with the pots all tightened down, I'm gonna find a set of suitable knobs. Okay, I deem these knobs good enough. I hope they get Johnny Dibble's approval. Now let's go ahead and reinstall the rest of the control plate screws, and we can go ahead and test this preamp in a little bit more detail. Okay, our preamp is installed. We have our stock pickup set up with the DiMarzio 500K. Push pull. I was going to pull that dramatically, but I didn't tighten down the knobs. Let's go ahead and tighten those down and head back to the wall. And we're back. We have successfully installed the Trickfish IPA preamp into our Ray 4 SUB, giving us a three band EQ over the two that we originally had with the stock preamp. We have kept the stock pickup, but wired it up to the DiMarzio push pull 500K pot. And because the pickup is a four conductor pickup, luckily, uh, we are able to wire this pickup for a series parallel switching. The default configuration is now parallel, and when we pull the volume control, we engage series mode. And that's how we'll be testing all the pickups here. But what I'll do now is I will just lay down a series of baseline baselines, and we can use this to compare to the other pickups. So first, let's leave the preamp centered and check out the difference between series and parallel. Here's parallel first. Now here's series. to parallel and play with this EQ a little bit. So I found that this bass responds very nicely to a mid scoop, especially with this IPA preamp targeting the lower mids. I believe the default mid frequency target is around 300 hertz or so. Anyways, I have the mids at a 50% cut and the treble and bass at a 50% boost. Let's go ahead and check that out. Thank you. 
Now let's check out that same EQ configuration, but in series. Next, let's do the opposite. I'm going to center the treble, center the bass control, and we're going to boost the mids about 50%. Next, let's put that in series. Now let's center the mid control, go back to parallel, and let's grab our pick. Here's what this sounds like picked with the EQ center. And here's that with series. Now let's go ahead and slap this bass. We'll keep the pickup in parallel, we'll keep the EQ centered, and then we'll mess around with it a little bit. Pop that in series. Okay, let's go back to parallel and we are going to scoop the mids, cut them about 50% and give our bass and treble a little bit of a boost. Here's some slap with that EQ config. And finally, let's pop it in series one more time, same EQ config. Okay, so that will do it for part one of the Ultimate Stingray Strange Pickup Guide for 2022. And this was the Trickfish IPA with the stock pickup. And this will be our mod platform. So stay tuned for subsequent videos where we are going to look at five different pickups. Nordstrand, Delano, MEC, and Chris Turner, a small pickup shop out of the U.S. making multi-coil pickups. A lot of cool stuff up ahead. Be sure to keep an eye out for those videos. But let me know what you think about the Trickfish IPA in our Ray 4 SUB. 
Overall, I think that this is a great improvement, even with the stock pickup. Plus, the 500k DiMarzio push-pull pot allows us to get even more tones and get the parallel tone out of the stock pickup as well. So, very nice to be able to compare those with the stock pickup and this Trickfish IPA preamp. But let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Ultimate Stingray Strange Pickup Mod Guide 2022. And our Ray 4 SUB with the Trickfish IPA preamp as our mod platform. And as always, until we groove again.